Hi, Spicewood kiddos. It's Miss Rayborn here. And today for enrichment, I have a book for us. So Miss Rayborn is really excited because I've been waiting to get this book for quite a while, actually. I ordered it a long time ago and it came out on Tuesday. So I'm gonna share it with you. It's called How to Spot an Artist by Danielle Krista, published by Prestel Publishing. Let's see try to make sure you can see the pictures like we've been trying to do. It says, how to spot an artist. This might get messy. Maybe. It said, oh, thank goodness you have this book. You'll need it if you really want to spot an artist. A real one. You see, no two artists are alike. In fact, they come in every shape size and color. Wow, look at them. It says some are very quiet. Look at the little quiet guy there. And some can be super loud. There are tidy artists and others not so much. Look at that, this guy. Miss Rayborn's kind of more like this guy. Artists live in big cities but you can also find them in teeny tiny towns out in the middle of nowhere. And to make things even more complicated, look at this little guy. They can be any age. This one, for example, is 92 and a half. There he is, look at him. You really have to pay attention, okay? So here's what to look for. First, Artists can be found turning ordinary stuff like feathers and rocks and noodles and string and buttons and egg cartons and leaves and even old socks into art. Note, glue is a very clear and sticky sign that an artist is near. Mm. Magazines full of holes instead of pictures. Yep, an artist did that. Parents aren't always thrilled about this, but they need to realize if pictures don't get cut out and rearranged and stuck together with other pictures, then the world would never experience the wonders of the birthday cake dis. Look at that, the birthday cake dis, like cactus. Keep an eye out for piles of scraps and papers like crumpled up grocery lists, takeout menus, envelopes, math homework. Artists gather old paper like squirrels gather their nuts. For real, they draw on anything and everything. That's true. If you find glitter, ooh, it says, oh no. If you find glitter on the kitchen table, in the fridge, on the cheese, beside the couch, in the bathtub, on the dog. An artist for sure lives here. Look at this little glittery guy. Oh my gosh, look at this. It says, this book has been interrupted for an important message. Uh-oh, we have to pause our story. This is an art bully. When this guy shows up, Artists can disappear right in front of your eyes. He'll replace their artsy ideas with junk like, you can't do this. Don't show this to anybody. What a mess. That looks weird. That's not perfect. Just quit. If an artist believes this nonsense, the specialness that makes them special starts to fade. They put their pencils down and eventually all of their colorful, crazy, wonderful ideas are replaced with, oh no, a quiet, lonely, gray block. The end. Oh no, we can't let this happen to us. Just kidding, it says. That's not even close to the end of the story. This problem can get fixed in one simple step. Ooh, I like this step. Make stuff! Yes, it's true. Every time an artist keeps making, 
whether it's a mess or a masterpiece, another rude art bully gets erased. Look at him getting erased. Warning, complete. Thank you, please continue reading. So that's how to get rid of them. You just make more stuff. Wow, that guy sounds like a real troublemaker. Anyway, where were we? Oh yes, spotting artists. You know how, you, you know what to look for, but where should you start? Well, they could be anywhere. Easy, to spot an artist in action, just shout out a bunch of project ideas. Try these, paint an ice cream volcano, write your name with animal letters, draw crazy flowers with googly eyes. Seriously, they'll be making this stuff before you can finish reading the book. I kinda wanna make these things. Maybe after watching this, you could try making one of these things. If you see uh, that grown-ups are doing projects like this too, do not be alarmed. They're just like artsy kids, but with really long legs and jobs. Yes, artsy kids grow up to be, let's see, what could you be? Painters, sculptors, ceramicists, that's somebody who makes art out of clay, photographers, art teachers, illustrators, university professors, graphic designers, people who make what our books look like and what our websites look like. Architects design buildings, interior designers design the inside, museum curators, those are the people who pick the artwork that goes in museums when you go visit them. Gallery owners, movie directors, set designers, costume designers, for sure are very creative people who make the costumes in the movies and the books and the stories and the TV that you watch comic book artists, animators, video game designers. Oh dear, I was afraid this would happen. This list is too long. Look at all these creative jobs that you can have. And it just keeps going and going and going, but we're officially out of room. There are just too many art jobs. So there you have it. If you follow every tip and trick in this book, you'll spot an artist in no time. Good luck. Hmm, you're still here? Oh, were you hoping to discover an artist right now? This very second? It says, there's an artist looking at this page right now. Who is it? It's you. Look at that. I am so inspired by this book and I cannot wait to try out some of the great, awesome ideas inside of here. So thanks for reading my favorite new book with me. And if you're feeling inspired, maybe you could go and try making, I can't find that page really quickly, an, an ice cream volcano. Look at this, okay, three choices possibly. An ice cream volcano. Write your name with letters made out of animals or draw crazy flowers with googly eyes. There's just three things you could start, try out, okay? So I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for hanging out with me for storybook enrichment time. Go through some drawing if you're feeling inspired. Bye for now.